Thank you, everyone, for subscribing to our YouTube channel. This is Donna Smith-Moncrief uh, speaking. And it's just nice. I wanted to connect about uh, the new book, um, authored Medium 9, The Transformational Powers of Spiritual Energy. Thanks to all of you who read uh, the first book, Medium 7. I loved your comments, and many of you provided feedback that gave me inspiration uh, to write a second one, because I'll be honest with you, I had no interest uh, or motivation, to be honest with you, to write a second one. But there were a lot of uh, comments and uh, issues that I came across in uh, my following research uh, that really provided further answers to who we are, where have we come from, and where are we going. So I'm going to, in the next couple of minutes, just share with you uh, a little bit about what is discussed in Medium 9, the transformational powers of spiritual energy. The idea is that there is several types of spiritual energy that we experience in our daily lives, but we don't really take advantage of it. And one of the things I want this book to do for you is for you to be able to be aware of them so you can take advantages of the different transformations. Let's talk about the first one, physical mediumship. Many thought that this had actually been extinct, um, mostly occurring in uh, the early 19th century at the birth of spiritualism, where certain mediums would be able to produce ectoplasm, like Helen Duncan, for example. Um, well, I was able to uh, work with, uh, participate in some seances in Sarasota with David Thompson in uh, September of 2014 and sit through about five seances, which provided me with an enormous amount of information about whether materialization actually really existed and was it the truth. I was able to do an interview with David Thompson to really understand how does someone develop as a physical medium and how is it that, what happens to them during the actual seance, uh, the trance, uh, the, uh, what is the aftermath of production of ectoplasm? And so I share with you the experiences that I had actually um, seeing through uh, the luminous plaques, uh, feeling certain things, and the very different voices verified that there was some forms of materialization, uh, meaning that those people in the spirit world were materializing into that seance room through the ectoplasm. And what is unique about David Thompson is during his seances, he usually brings about two to three um, family members that were passed through into the seance room to, for them to be able to communicate with their loved ones who are still on the physical plane. And I go through some of those engaging stories of those connections. What's amazing, too, is William, his control, always comes out and shares this information about the afterlife. Now, can I ask you, where are we going to get better information about what happens after we our phys the physical demise of the body? Um, where are we going to get better information? But from someone who is materializing from that dimension to our dimension and is having a clear communication with us, it's really even a notch above mental mediumship, which a lot of us have experienced through psychics and mediums. And that is a challenging uh, communication um, although I did my research in that area, that it, the physical mediumship, when it's really happening with a real medium, is the closest you'll ever get to communicating with those uh, from the other side. I also do an up-close interview, uh, a couple of interviews with Kai Mugi from Germany. And his medi physical mediumship is different, but still very informative. Tells us a lot about the nature of reality, um, he produces apport that I was able to see in New Jersey. I follow up with other experts that have been participating in his seances on a regular basis, and I share some 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 information and some stories that really will blow you away. It really is something beyond uh, our what we what we consider to be true <laughs> true, but it is. Uh, and we also discuss. Uh, the, the the ectoplasm that you actually see uh, produced in his seances and uh, the partial materializations and, and get uh, some feedback from, from the participants. A lot of the book is devoted to physical mediumship, but that's only two chapters. I go on, I devote a chapter still to mental mediumship. I discuss some engaging cases about um, what a medium can actually do for you. 
um, some cases that I thought were really outstanding. And I also respond to a lot of negative comments that came to me about, uh, first of all, why would a medium not collect the million-dollar prize, for example, if they were real? Well, I explain all of that, and I explain the um, some of the politics behind the million-dollar prize. Um, and I explain, uh, I go through and I really provide you with the history of how things that we didn't know to be true are now true, like planes flying and, um, you know, how scientists supported the eugenics movement, things like that. So you can see that historically science hasn't always been right, and things that we don't know now or are not in the scientific books can be proven to be true later. And this is why we should be able to embrace some of the... Uh, some of the experiences that we're being exposed to through physical mediumship and mental mediumship. A lot of you from my first book um, and from my speaking events love the discussion about a body experiences. And so I devote a chapter to this. And uh, through either comments or through the online surveys that we have on our website, uh, many of you provided some examples, and I also quote some examples from other uh, other individuals' research as well. I also look at the difference between lucid dreaming and out-of-body experiences. For those of you who experience sleep paralysis, I explain the relationship between sleep paralysis and out-of-body experiences and give you a bit more information about what that feels like. And I reveal my own experiences about sleep paralysis, and um, which it's always beneficial to hear directly from someone who's actually uh, had it themselves. And also I talk about the cases of individuals experiencing a different spiritual energy as they re- release themselves from the physical body and what actually can happen when you have an out-of-body experiences. So you may have... Uh, been able to address depression. I talk about that case study. I talk about individuals who were able to have an out-of-body experience and actually healed from uh, terrible debilitating diseases. I talk about individuals who were able to mend relationships with people in the astral plane. Uh, And I provide some of the techniques um, from different pieces of literature for you to be able to try for yourself. So again, in this book, I'm connecting you, making you aware of the evidence. I'm making you aware of some mechanisms. And I'm actually giving you uh, areas of interest that can actually be helpful to your life now. It's not just about the afterlife and um, what happens at the demise of the the body. It's how you can actually interact with these different dimensions and make uh, a better, uh, but more transformation in your life. I also go into some of my research that was done um, at the Ontario Hypnosis Center and past life regression. I talk about some of the evidence from Dr. Brian Weiss and Michael Newton. First, give you that evidence. But what I found very interesting about past life regression, which is hypnosis and the potential ability for you to have a different state of consciousness and uh, be able to experience your past lives, For those of you who believe in reincarnation, the belief that you were in a different life, in a different physical body, experiencing different physical realms, this is something that I explore closely in one full chapter, and some of the uh, case studies demonstrate how they were able to link between patterns in their past life and patterns that they're currently experiencing, and sometimes it's just an eye-opener. So, for example, why are you always getting into fights? At workplaces with people, why can't we get along in the workplace? Is it always your coworkers, or perhaps is it something that you're perceiving? And perhaps some of those perceptions are related to patterns you've experienced in previous lives. Well, past life regression can actually reveal some of that. And I explain, for example, and even Dr. Brian Weiss will say that in his uh, in his traditional practice as a psychiatrist, uh, he only found that it was helpful to a certain point um, using traditional um, psychiatric or psychological therapies. He realized that in some cases, to really address those aggravating and persistent challenges, he actually had to go into past lives. And then I also talk about energy healing. 
And again, in my first bit of research, mental mediums, some of them spoke about energy healing, the ability to use um, the mind or the energy from the fingertips without using traditional medicine, without touching the body, manipulating energy, using the chakra systems, um, and actually making changes uh, in the health of, of individuals. So I want to examine that more closely, uh, specifically looking um, at John of God, for those of you who have heard of him, and then another um, another uh, healer known as Gary Mannion. Uh, I was able to look at some of that data um, that was previously done and analyze it over again and I extract some of uh, his case studies. And uh, what I had found was in some cases, given the, the, the debilitating experiences, for example, these patients had without any any um, positive uh, benefits from traditional medicine, then them having a 10-minute treatment pre- from from an energy healer and having made significant changes, I thought that was worth discussing. Because, again, energy healing is another form of spiritual energy. It's an energy that can be reshaped and, and channeled um, from a different dimension. If we are in, um, if the channeler is in an, in an open uh, open space, and if the recipient is also in a place of peace as well, there's those abilities. So I discussed the evidence. Also, Dr. Gary Schwartz has some had had written a book also um, related to energy healing, and he had done some experiences that uh, experience, experiments at the University of Arizona. And so I put that together with some of the case studies that I actually um, also experienced. And voila, you get. Uh, some interesting information about energy healing and the fact that 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 some energy like chi actually really exists. And then finally, in this chapter uh, related to extraterrestrials, my goodness, I had no plan to write about extraterrestrials. Um, this did pop up in my earlier research. I would get emails with people asking, what do the greys have anything to do with uh, spirit communication? I honestly thought that they might be crazy, these people emailing me. Uh, (laughs) And on top of it, uh, I knew that there were some mediums mentioning, some very credible mediums mentioned getting information from extraterrestrials, but I didn't know what to make of it several years ago in my earlier research. However, when mental mediums throughout my current research in 2014 and in the early 2015, mental mediums were bringing it up. I also uh, connected with Sonia Rinaldi, who has uh, done some excellent work with electrical voice phenom- electronic voice phenomena, instrumental transcommunication. And she had sent me a number of pictures, and voila, there are some extraterrestrials and humanoids showing up in, in her work, uh, in, in video images and photo images. And uh, when I asked her, um, she explained that they just have been showing up over the years. And it, it is her understanding that they facilitate this communication. Since they have the advanced technology, they are facilitating. And then, of course, in the work with my energy healing, we came across um, another practitioner, um called Paul Hamden, and he had explained that he was having communications with extraterrestrials and was able to, um, in some cases, uh, have some extraordinary healing um, done through him and also with potentially the help of extraterrestrials. And this was further uh, validated by William Truernet, the researcher, who had examined this possibility from many different angles, and I talk about that as well. Uh, then, before you can actually talk about extraterrestrials, uh, you have to really look at other literature. So it might be popping up in your own primary research, but just to make sure you're not going, um, you know, off the loop, you really have to check. And while I looked at a, a number of different pieces of literature, and there it was, there were basically information coming from astronauts, coming from pilots, uh, and coming from uh, military officials. And the Disclosure Project has uh, done enormous benefit for the public in terms of bringing uh, all of this together. You have private private scientists 
making these disclosures. You have abduction cases like the Barney and Betty Hill case. Um, and then when you, I put it all together, my own research plus the literature, I found that there were 10 converging lines of evidence uh, that re made me realize that uh, there is some influence uh, with other races and advanced technology in relation to this. And again, I also talk about a past life regression case where an individual was hypnotized and again um, spoke spoke about being in a past life that was not from the human race. So when you have several different lines of evidence in independent studies coming together to point to one specific area, you have to take notice of this. So this chapter, very lengthy, very involved, one of the first chapters really to put all of this together and examine. Um, spirit communication, what I've realized, can't be discussed within a vacuum. It, it exists within other, uh, other, other planetary systems uh, and is facilitated by other potential uh, humanoids and races. And with the help of other researchers like William Truronet, he, he bangs out some of the concepts related to reincarnation and, um, you know, ascension, and so I, I explained some of those. So you really are getting the gamut of various different topics, a number of different topics that are of interest to people, engaging studies, some research, and some basic um, techniques, but also some good meditation so that you can actually experience uh, some of this now. Really great if you could share your comments. Uh, I look forward to feedback.